Wolfman Lewis, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for stopping by. Here we are. The brand new NFL Head Coach Series. Now you know who I'm picking because you saw the thumbnail. The New York Jets, ladies and gentlemen. That is who we're picking. So we're going to go with the create a new coach. Now, we picked offense the last time. The Raiders, if you missed the NFL head coach of the Raiders series that came to an abrupt end, uh, then you need to go back and take a look at it, ladies and gentlemen. We made some wild trades, and we intend to do that here right now. I went with offense. This time, we're going to play defense and build our way around the defense. Last Sunday's Super Bowl 40 saw one of the best defensive coordinators in the NFL play the perfect game of chess. High above the stands in Ford Field, he made the calls while his team toyed with the league's most productive offense on football's biggest day. With the Lombardi Trophy now on his resume, this coordinator will lead a team as a head coach. Let's take a closer look at the defensive mastermind. The defensive mastermind, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here we go. We're going to take a look at who we want, or who, the guy we want. Now we only got eight seconds. It's been a minute since I've actually created, so now i got to remember how to do this here. All right, so Rob Collins will not be the name of our guy. Our guy is going to be, we get ready for it. Whoops. Our guy is going to be. Dang it. I'm trying to think of a name real quick. The name, first name that pops in my head. Uh, you know what? We're just going to go with Wolfman Lewis, guys. Why not? Why not go with Wolfman Lewis? Why not go with me? Or, it's going to be uh, these controllers, man. Mouse is very sensitive. Let's go with... Uh, Sam Sam Carson that's going to be our coach ladies and gentlemen Sam Carson and of course he's going to be the youngest age which is 30 we're in business that's going to be him deep voice if you will we're going to go single back we're going to go 3-4 and we're going to go look at the information we need. The face is number 31. We're going to change that face. Hazel eyes, face, face. Oh, we don't want the ogre size. Real no, we want face, cheeks, we want thin. Here's we want small. Uh, let's see. Let's go with hair is parted. Let's go with uh, let's go with the spike hair. Why don't we go with the spike hair? Do you want to go with spike? Sure, why not? Let's go with blonde hair. Leave all that there as the, well, let's go ahead and make the eye side just a little bit big here. No squint. The eyebrows, let's make the eyebrows stick. We're bushy. Let's make the eyebrows bushy. Let's angle the eyebrows just a tad bit. Let's make it the height just a tad bit. Okay. The nose will be average. The height will be good. Nostrils are average. Mouth shape average, full average. Let's make the mouth shape full. Let's bring the height down just a little bit. Let's bring the width down just a little bit. Uh, the muscular. Uh, you want him custom skinny, you want him fat. Uh, 
let's 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 make him plump a little bit. You know, let's make him just a tad bit, tad bit plump. You know, Sam loves his wife's home cooking, y'all. Polo shirt, running back number two. Is it? Let me want. Yeah, let's go with number two. Going to go with running back, team running back there. He'll go with the visor. You remember Wolfman Lewis? Uh, remember my last guy in the Raiders series, uh, I had the fedora. I love the fedora, but it's time, different series, time for something different. So the practice will be that. Let's go with the first one. Shorts, gonna wear some shorts. Yeah, he's gonna wear some shorts. And the shorts are going to be gray. And a hat will be a visor. Like I said, I love the fedora, but it's time to actually get uh, something different. We wanna go different in this series. That's exactly what we wanna do. Game day clothing, he's gonna go with uh, running back number one. His pants, this time around, is gonna be brown. Oh, no, let's make this pants gray. Or do we want to go, you know what? Let's not go gray. Let's go to the running back team. Hat will be the visor. Cold day clothing. You're going to go with the parka. It's going to be running back number one. His pants. Going to be the running back pants. His hat is going to be the visor. And let's go. Yes, we want to confirm it. Only time will tell how this coordinator adjusts from running a defense to running a whole team. All we know for sure is fans in 31 cities are asking, is my team getting this year's hottest commodity in a headset? All right, here we go. Welcome to your home office, coach. It's now time to get on a team. Notice the moving pointer uh, above the phone. This means you have something to do here. Select the phone, then select the team you want to interview with to find a job. Good luck with the interview. Let's go here. And you know we're picking the Jets, so we got to go down and interview with the Jets. Where are the Jets? They're up top, I think. There they are. There's the Jets. Good to talk to you. All right, so here's Late King. Sam, it's our pleasure to talk with someone with your history. Thank you for having me. I'm ready when you are. Okay, so what it could start with the easy one. This is an easy one. Which of these coach, coaches most resembles your style? You know what? Strategist is Mike Shanahan. Guru would be John uh, Gruden. Or motivator, excuse me, would be John Gruden. And balance would be Tony Dungy. So what do you want to do? We're going to do balance, strategy, or strategist, or motivationist. Let's go with balanced. That way we get a balance of everything. So... How would you defend against a team who runs a no-huddle offense against you? I would still try to switch out my guys as fast as possible. We would prepare in advance uh, during practice, making sure our guys were ready for it. Uh, yeah, uh, it's if it's fast, I'll keep my base defense and special coverages. You know, we'll prepare for it. You know, we'll prepare for it. Strategy, we'll prepare for it. Your secondary is giving up lots of big plays. What do you do to tell them at halftime? I communicate with them, body language, they can tell when I'm not happy. I appeal to their pride and tell them to focus more and get their heads into the game. I publicly challenge them to step up their game. Uh, let's go with the, their motivation, you know. What's your approach for in uh, analyzing an injury-prone player into the draft? Really good players bounce back from injuries. It, would be, it wouldn't be a factor. Uh, we would grade them significantly lower. I want to keep, or I want to know how quickly he recovers if he's in the condition, if he's going to pass it on. You know what? There we go. Uh, in one word, describe your work ethic. Focus. My mind. Wait, no. Okay, great. Next. The best way for your defense line to get to the quarterback. Mine ends and attacks the edges and tackles around the thing. Uh, I'll try to keep my hands and contain the quarterback. Uh, use a four-man rush and get my pass rushers. You know what? My 
uh, ends uh, attack the edges and tackles attack the middle. How do you feel about moving a guy from outside to inside linebacker? I'd consider it with a guy out of college other than uh, that, probably not. The linebackers have to read balls so that guys, so guys can do that. I think linebackers are interchangeable. They need to have the same core seat set. Let's go with that. Your corners are going against two fast wideouts. What's your advice? They need to know when to press and when to give cushion. I encourage all of my DBs to communicate very well before each and every play. Keep everything in front of them and try to get a bump at the line. You know, I encourage uh, all of my DBs to uh, communicate very clearly before play. play. Okay, I got you, Coach. Now, do you have the time for one more question about offense? Sure. All great offenses need a great what? A great running back, great receivers, great offensive line. Uh, the quarterback, of course. All the leaders out there. He is part of the leaders out there. Um, let's go with that. I am flattered. I think you know what I'm going to say. All right, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Good old Sam Carson. We have five teams that want to interview us for a job. So we'll go ahead and delete that. And we'll check them. Now we know we're picking the Jets, of course. We're going to look at them anyway. So look at the Jets. They want to offer $3 million over two years. You know, we're going to take it because, like I said, we're going with the Jets. Uh, the goals are to win eight games, increase the total passing TDs, convert on third down. Uh, increase total passing yards and protect the quarterback better this year. Uh, their overall ratings of uh, offense is 71, and the defense uh, defensive coordinators overall is 62. The rest of the coaching staff has a combined overall of 68.7. Uh, there's uh, 82 41 in the cap, tied up with only uh, 19. 59 available. Uh, these excellent players, of course, Ty Law stands out. Jonathan uh, Vilma, uh, the, 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 Jonathan Vilma stands out. So there's Lake King. Now the next one we have, the next offer we have, wait, come on, back out. The next offer we have is the Vikings. We'll just look at it. Sam Carson. You want to give us 12 over five years? My goodness, that's big. But we want the Jets, ladies and gentlemen. Regardless, we want the Jets. 69 and 65. Uh, Tony Goodrich. They were 9 and 7 last year. They want to make the playoffs, increase their total rushing or their total passing TDs. And red zone. There's the Saints. Uh, head coach position, 13 point over four years. Of course, they want to win eight games. Uh, like I said, well, let's see what they want. They want to win eight games. Uh, they want to uh, convert more, sack the quarterback more, and convert more on third downs, and score more in the red zone, increase their total rushing yards. Uh, 63 and 57 would be their offensive defensive coordinators. And uh, yeah, Mr. Jim Reed. The owner. And of course, we got the Houston Texas, the number one pick in the draft. 12.9 over four years. Win eight games, draft a marquee quarterback, increase our total yards for passing yards, protect our quarterback better this year, continue to score in the red zone. Of course, their offensive defensive uh, coordinators uh, overall, 68 87. They got a good defense over there in, uh, uh, in Houston. But uh, their record falls short because their offense was not good. And, of course, we got the Raiders. Man, I missed the Raiders series, man. I had it really going on with the Raiders series. I really did. Like I said, if you missed that, uh, missed those, please, please take a look at them in the playlist, man. I really put a lot of heart, a lot of effort into that Raiders series. But please offer you the coach position. Six years, they want to win eight games. Of course, they want to gain uh, amount of yards gained on uh, 
again, protecting the quarterback better this year. They want to sack the quarterback more. 77 and 80 uh, overall uh, offensive defensive coordinators. They got a lot of got a lot of a uh, lot of stuff wrapped up in their uh, cap, but uh, their cap is a little bit to work with, and we know that because we've had the opportunity to play with those them before. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, the New York Jets. That's the team we want, ladies and gentlemen. That's the team we want. Last year, they found themselves being 4-12, and 12, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to bring the Jets to a Super Bowl. Yes. Here we go. Becoming the greatest coach of all time. My man. It's a saga Steve that Saban. we're all fond of here at NFL Films. One coach in particular stood out from the rest. Driven by his dream, this coach knew that being the greatest of all time meant winning games, breaking coaching records, developing Pro Bowl players, and turning coordinators into exceptional head coaches. Most importantly, it meant winning Super Bowls. His heart was set on seeing his image bronzed at the end of the Hall of Legends. It would serve as a reminder to all that visited, here is the greatest coach of all time. This is his story. All right, so do we want to turn on auto? Do you w wish to save your career before continuing? Yes. You can see that there. If you saw that, the other save there, that is my uh, Buffalo Bill series. All right, so here we go. Some orientation. We need to talk. Hi, Sam. Welcome to your new office. Thank you. I'm Lake, the owner of the Jets. It's a pleasure to meet you. Since this is your first day, I want to give you a tour of your office. Sounds great. Before we get started, uh, how do you think we'll fare this season? We're going to make the playoffs. This team is in bad shape. I want to make sure. But let's say we're going to make the playoffs. That makes him happy. Thank you for your, uh, for your candor. Did you notice the icon above my head when you, respond, or when you responded? When talking to your staff, you'll be able to impact your trust with them. Is that so? Sometimes it's positive impact. Sometimes it's negative. Good to know. If your staff's trust is high, they will be more likely to stay with you next year. I'll try to keep it as high trust level with them. But if they don't trust you, you can expect to be unemployed. But if I don't trust you, you can expect to be unemployed at the end of the season. That's understood. Now, onto your office. In the lower left of your screen, you will notice the quick nav. I did see that before we started. The quick nav lets you see different information and helps guide you through your day. That sounds useful. Check out your attributes and trust levels with the team using the left navigator. Exactly. Okay, so the use of that. Okay, so we, we looked at that. That's what he wanted us to do. Here it is. Good luck. You should view your attributes regularly to see how you progress. I'll remember that. I know you want to be the greatest coach of all time. Heck, that's why I hired you. It's my goal. Using the quick nav, you can compare yourself against legendary coaches. Good. Go to the coaches corridor on the right. Switch to all 25 uh, coaches of all times. Come back here and tell me who the greatest coach okay. of all time is. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I think I went the right way. Yes, I did. Okay, there is the coach's corridor, and there we are. Head coach of the Jets, ladies and gentlemen, Sam Carson. There, there's our man. That's not us, but that's our man, Sam Carson. All right, so here we go with the Hall of Legends. Real quickly. Take a look at all the coaches on down the road here. Marty Schottenheimer, John Madden, Gruden, Chuck Knoll. There we go. Don Shula, the greatest coach of all time with 328 regular season wins. Don Shula. Coach, hear me out. So, who was the greatest coach of all time? Cowher, Shula, Landry, uh, Shula. Okay. A coach's life is dictated by their schedule and goals for each period. Yes, it is. Using the down nav, view your goals. Yes. Period. I'm on it. 
So we need to hire a quarterback's coach and a wide receiver's coach, among others. We're going to take a look at the, the coaches, and we're going to uh, deal with that Listen, in the next episode. These goals will update next week when it's time to re-sign players. Okay. Finally, I want to talk about the HUD in the upper right screen. All right. Uh, HUD conveys your current task and what you're currently doing. Okay. There are four icons in the HUD, email, phone, calls, reports, and conference or conversations. I see them. That gives you an idea of what issues you need to address besides your assigned task. Oh, excellent. Lastly, the HUD dis displays uh, how time is being used for the task that you're in. Okay. The orientation has unlimited time. Other tasks use actions. I see. That's it. You can do, or you can go to TV for more information. Thank you. That was very useful. I'll see you later in the start of the uh, in the start of the year meeting. Use the quick nav to continue to your next task. Right. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end the episode right here, the very first episode, getting started. The introduction of our man, Sam Carson, ladies and gentlemen, the coach of the New York Jets. Smash that like button. Bite into the bell icon, become part of the notification squad. And scratch those claw marks in the bottom right corner of your screen if you're new to become a member of the Wolfpack fam today. Ladies and gentlemen, another episode of NFL Head Coach, the Jets, brand new, coming at you real soon. This has been the Wolfman Lewis. I am out.